What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Frankie. Welcome back to my humble home. We left off in my journal where I had reached a point in my recovery where I recognized and accepted that alcoholism is genetic in nature and there was no way I was going to beat this disease on my own. In a lover's quarrel with God, I saw that in the grand scheme of things, me being an alcoholic, it made sense. One night in rehab, I was experiencing crippling anxiety and fear about the future. I was on the phone with my mom. She was trying so hard to cheer me up and make me feel better. Finally, I had to say, Mom, I know what you are doing and I appreciate it. There is nothing in this world that can make me feel better. The next morning, I picked up the journal of St. Ignatius of Loyola. I sat in a gazebo on the property and randomly opened the journal to an entry from March 12, 1544. In it, St. Ignatius wrote that he was experiencing great distress. He wrote that he could find rest in nothing. A Catholic priest, Ignatius offered three masses, but relief never came. It wasn't until he realized that he was trying to pull God's heart to himself instead of giving his heart to God that he finally experienced relief. In this moment, I realized that God had allowed me to see that for so long I had been praying to return to the life I'd always known and to have nothing changed. Instead, God was taking me out of my old life and inviting me to a new life that I knew nothing about. But like Ignatius, once I accepted the invitation to this new life, fear and anxiety began to leave me. I put my book down, I threw my hands up in the air, and I yelled, there was no escaping you, was there? I hadn't finished asking that question when my heart heard the question being asked of me. But why were you running? If the God that I claim exists is almighty, omnipresent, omnipotent, all-knowing and all-loving, why would I run from such a God?